Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. Last episode, we got some gas generators hooked up, making quite a lot of power, if I'm honest. It's a pretty good amount. But I want to increase it a little bit. So the first step we're going to do is work on auto-processing these uh, metallurgic infusers and whatnot. Which I think we're also going to use that uh, pulverizer for. So we will have to open up the ground here a little bit. Just to be able to get through. Okay, so, we're going to need some interfaces. Now, we should be good on making just about anything, right? We're pretty good on resources. Interface. Uh, we want one of these. Maybe we should add uh, formation cores and all of that to the auto-crafting. So, let's get... Uh, what do we require? Patterns. We need some blank patterns. Because I updated, all my bookmarks disappeared. We can get rid of that. Uh, let's get some of this. Let's uh, try and automate blank patterns. Do we think that's doable? We're going to need certus quartz, uh, crushed quartz to be uh, made. So what, what, what sort of quartz do we have? What's the most that we have? It seems to be like normal quartz at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So let's tell it that we can turn that into the good stuff. So let's run over to this pattern encoder. We're going to try and automate a lot of stuff today, maybe. Maybe. I say maybe because I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's see. I want to turn this into this into crushed quartz. So pulverizer, that gives you that. Boom. We have the pattern. So we are going to need to manually make a uh, interface. Interface. Which we'll also put on the left. So we need an annihilation core. So let's do that. Let's make an interface. Now this guy, we can turn into one of these. One of these bad boys. And we can just slap him on there. And we can put this pattern in. Right? So that will tell it. Crushed uh, quartz in here for crushed quartz. Simple enough. Let's see how many cables we have. Cable. We have two. We're going to need a few more. Fluix cable. Now, we might also have to upgrade and figure out um, the cabling system over here a bit more because I'm not sure if we have enough channels to do all of this stuff, which we'll figure out in a second. So, Flux Crystal. We're going to need more of that, aren't we? Uh, quartz. So, we need charged surface quartz. So, we're probably going to have to charge some ourselves. We need some of that. We're going to need some normal quartz. So, we'll bring that with and some redstone. So, let's put some of this stuff away. A lot of the stuff we don't need to have on us for what we're planning on doing. Put that away. That should be good. Um, redstone. Let's run over to here. Do we still have this hooked up? We do. We do have some charged quartz in here. We'll put the normal quartz in as well and we'll take it out of charged. Uh, turn off our magnet. Throw in the charged. Throw in this. Throw in that. And we should get a heap of flux crystals. Oh, how good is that? Alright. Flux crystals. Perfect. Place those there. Make as many of these cables as we can. Which is quite a bit. We've got 30. That should be more than enough for what we require to do at the moment. Let's come in here. Um, so we should just be able to hook it right up to this guy. Right through here. This should be easy. Easy peasy. That should be hooked up. So that should be good. Then we want to tell it, um, what do we want to tell it? <laughs> so we're trying to make these quartz glass. So we, we need the recipe for quartz glass, right? Um, can we make quartz glass? One quartz glass. We're missing glowstone? That's not good. Okay, how do we make glowstone? Is there a cheaty way to do it? Or do I have to just mine glowstone? We could grow it. That's always an option for just about everything in this pack. Um, glowstone dust. Is there a little fancy way to obtain it? I'm thinking more so along the lines of like a fluid transposer. We could turn gunpowder into it with astral sorcery. Um, what else? We could use, uh, Batania to turn redstone into glowstone. Or we could faint amaranth? from Astral Sorcery, gives us Glowstone, apparently. How do we get that? There doesn't seem to be a way. Yeah, let's, uh... Go on to this page. 
We could turn... No, that uses this stuff. Okay. What's this? Energized Glowstone. We could farm Witches. Or a Firefly. Those are very good options. Now that I've considered it. Because that's just like a Blaze, right? That should be really easy. Now that I'm really thinking about it. That might be the way to go. Otherwise... We could, I guess, get this stuff. Carrot seeds and red seeds. Grow them. I reckon we try and get, like, fireflies or something. So let's get a, um... We need a mob imprisonment tool. These have a wither skeleton and an enderman. So, mob imprisonment. Now, I don't think we can make one. But we can buy the ghast here that makes them. Ghast tier. Can I not? I need to get a coin to be able to do that. Refresh my... My money. My money, 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 money. Now, I've completed a lot of quests. What I could do is we could just hit this button up here. <laughs> and now we're full of a whole bunch of stuff. So, okay. Steel leaf boots. Let's put away the stuff that we don't want to look at. Like all this blood bottles, human heart, some diamonds, a gold frog leg. We've never eaten it before. Uh, I guess we'll put it back in the system. <laughs> What's this? I went to the moon and all I got was this stupid shirt. <laughs> okay. Uh, bookshelf. And then we've got these uh, little loot boxes. We've got a clock eye. So I think if I press H, H maybe? E, H? Or just H in general? Can I put this on somewhere? No? Because it works as a bauble, right? I could put this on here and I have a clock eye. But I've kind of already got stuff in here. So I'd need more bubble slots or I'd have to... I could get rid of the backpack. We we haven't... That's the first time we've opened this backpack in ages, right? So I could get rid of the backpack and get myself a... an eye <laughs> that we'll never notice, but nah. That's, that's fine. We'll put that away. We've gotten... What's this? A cheesy cash? Potion resistance for the rats? Okay. And we've got three unclaimed black market containers. Dark Solarium Jet Plate. Exchanging Gadget. Love them. And a Bone Sword. Okay. So let's look at the bad stuff. A Bone Sword. Deals 3% of the target's maximum HP as damage. That's really good against bosses, I guess. And then we have this Dark Solarium Jet Pack. That does 12 armor points. Which seems to be more than my chest piece. So it might be worth using. And it seems to be a Jet Pack too. So let's equip it. Now it's not charging up. Allows flight when active. Must be worn as a chest, chest piece. Okay. Um. Oh, my game's frozen a little bit. You know what? We're not going to check it out this episode. <laughs> We're not going to check it out because we want to get stuff done. And I'm, I'm going to end up looking at that for way too long. So we need glowstone. That's, that's the first thing. Right? We've got some big tasks ahead of us. Our coins have been upgraded. Let's get a ghast here. Let's get this guy. And then we need a witch. Now, how are we going to go about getting a witch? Or we could get a firefly. So, we could make it nighttime using uh, a clock, which might be in the base. We have the clock that lets us speed through time. So, that might be up here, above our bed, if I remember correctly. It is, it is. So, we can make it just becoming nighttime, like so. And we could look for fireflies, or... Witches. Or anything that will drop glowstone. So we can also look again. Glowstone, right? We can go to mob drops. Um, where's mob drops? Mob drops. So a witch. It's, it says here that a witch will drop it, right? Uh, if we go over to uh, one of these things that emulates um, killing mobs. This guy, we can get it from a witch, we can get it from a twilight wraith, we can get it from a firefly, and that's it. So a witch, a firefly, or a twilight wraith. And we really can't see anything. Do we have night vision at all? Let's look for that, because that would help out a lot. Night vision. We can do a potion of night vision, or we can get this ocelot pet. How good's that? Oh, dude, inventory pets, so good. So we have a zombie coming towards us. Now we need to remember it's nighttime, but we need to look for. Oh. 
need to look for a witch. Now, what we could also do is we could just set these on to spawn mobs and we could keep an eye on for when a witch comes out. Okay. There's a lot of little dudes. Okay. What is this? This is the portal. So this goes... Oh! We almost got sucked in. Alright, there's lots of skeletons spawning over here because we've still got skeletons spawning on the ground for some reason. Um... Yeah, I might make it daytime. And then... I kind of want to find one of, like, the Wraith dudes that comes out of the portals and see what they're, they're called. They might be a Twilight Wraith. I'm not 100% sure, though. Okay, well... Here's, there's one over here. Do we see one of the dudes that lives there? <laughs> I guess lives there. If, if this doesn't work, we can try uh, just hanging around the spawners and checking. Okay. What's that? I think they're vampires. Do we see a witch? We can look on the map as well, I guess. That might be the better way, because we can travel quite far. Like, we can see quite far on the map, so we'll know when there's a witch. You guys might have already seen one. You might have been looking there from the get-go, like smart people would. Uh, there's a vampire. Another one of these portals. Some skeletons beating me up. I know I haven't looked for long, but I think we'll do the uh, Cursed Earth strategy. There's a van uh, skeleton dude over there. I think we'll do that. Unless we see something last second. No, I don't think so. So let's make it daytime, right? Can we do this? Yep. <laughs> we can take off the ocelot pet. We can run home. And we want to go near those spawners and see if we can get a skeleton, uh, a witch to spawn in there. And also, we'll recheck the, um, here, I'll kill this guy. <laughs> oh, he dropped a cutlass. Let's make sure that we have everything claimed, right? So that we don't, uh, lose anything to explosions. It looks like we're pretty good. Uh, this guy can be claimed. There we go. So, over here, we can turn off the mob crusher. The mob crusher was meant to be off, but he seemed to be on anyway, didn't he? Oh, the mob slaughter factory's on. We can pause this guy. So the mob crusher's the one that's on now, or not on. Which means mobs will spawn in here. Every so often, we can actually put this guy back on, and we can see in here. So we can keep an eye on things. Let's let's do this. Let's uh, turn off the mob crusher and have a look. So there's a vampire. There's some wither skeletons. It seems they might be normal skeletons. My game is frozen a little bit at the moment. Okay. Spiders. Lots of skeletons. We're looking for a witch. And then I've got to run in there and pick up the witch. Or if we're lucky, we could get a firefly, I guess. Now, I'm hoping witches spawn in here. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Lots of creepers running around like maniacs. Okay, I don't see a witch. Let's do this. Let's do this. So that should clear most of them. Let new ones spawn. Let's look in here. Zombie. Little baby skeletons. Okay. Let's refresh it. How else could we go and get a witch? I wonder. Uh, and the fireflies are also meant to spawn at night, aren't they? Ah, oh, they've got plague. Uh, we're just going to turn that on. So, uh, witches, witches, witches. Witch. We might be able to get a witch spawn egg. Spawn bewitched. Spawn witch. Altar of birthing. From nature's aura. That sounds horrible in there. Oh, one of those things. Oh, God. Okay. I think we're good. We can clear them. He didn't die. So he might just be out of the range. My cat's out of... Cook, cooked cod is the favourite food. I don't think we have cooked cod. Um, okay. 
I mean, what I could do is I could just turn the lights on every so often, right? I could be like, oh, is there anything in there? Have a look. Seems to just be zombies. I mean, it's not looking too good, is it? <laughs> Turn the light on. The dude came closer. And it's just a whole bunch of... Normal dudes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, shop. Witch. Oh. Witch. Um, firefly. No. Fly. Glowstone. <laughs> Um, let's see, Firefly, because you might be able to buy them from, um, I don't know. <laughs> so they spawn in the file, in the Twilight Forest, you can get Fireflies. So we could go in the Twilight Forest, maybe we do that, maybe we make an adventure, a task, and we head out into there. Let's turn on the lights, see what we got. Creepy vampires, no witches though. So we'll keep the lights on so that the stuff doesn't spawn. Um, well, I guess, no, we could probably leave the crusher on and leave the lights off. I, th I think that's the strat we'll do. Here, let's... Oh, I'm struggling a bit. Let's turn the lights off, keep the crusher on. That'll give us some uh, rotten flesh. And now we need to make a... Oh, we need to make a portal to the Twilight Forest. Now, I'm pretty sure you just get flowers... Surround a portal and drop a diamond in? Is that how you do it? <laughs> let's get let's get all of the yellow flowers. Let's get um a diamond. Now I think this is how you do it. Um I might be completely wrong. But do I just do this? Oh the answer is yes. The answer is that is exactly what you do. And let's just do it. Let's jump in. Oh. Hey, look at that. It seems to be twilight. Now, there's no sun. <laughs> and there's no moon. And it's just twilight. Is what it appears to be. Now, we might die here while we're loading in. I'm not sure how deadly and dangerous this is. There's a firefly up there. Can I... Is this the right firefly? I don't think this is the right firefly. That we wanted. Is it? Make a firefly jar. Okay. I mean, while we're in here, we might as well look around. <laughs> I guess. I'm surprised we found it instantly. The firefly, okay. Um, there's lots of flowers in here. What's this? Canopy tree? Firefly, firefly. Now, I assume I can just teleport home, so I'm not really too worried. What are these? Little bunnies? Little dwarf rabbits. Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, little dwarf rabbits. There's like some deer over there, it looks like. Um, lots of dangerous things I see on the map. That's always fun. There's this over here, which from memory, from what I remember, is this is meant to be like a boss battle that we could do. Should we jump in and see if we can do it? I think we should. Also, is this oil? It is oil. Oil from Tech Reborn. Okay. Uh, shall we hop in and have a look? Yeah, this is a Naga boss battle. Okay. Let's, uh... Okay, apparently we're building with gravel. Let's change that back to dirt. Dirt. We have 16,000 of it. Now, this thing's like a... Like a snake. I'm pretty sure. Let's, uh... Let's see how we go, I guess. Do we see it? Do we see it on the map? Oh, there it is. Look how big it is. It's actually pretty easy. I think because we're very strong. I didn't bring any special food with me for this battle. Which I normally do when I do boss battles. Did I do it? Craft any variety of bobble and wear it. Hunt some of the local wildlife. Slay the Naga in its forest courtyard and obtain a Naga scale to overcome the barrier magic surrounding the Lich's Tower. So I think we can do another boss battle. I think that's what it means. We got the Twilight Shader Naga. Level Twilight can be applied to Mining Drills Revolver. Okay. Polished Andesite. A Naga Trophy. 
another shader bag. So I think this will give me more of those shaders. Torchwood. Okay. And Naga Scale, which I think I can make armor out of. Yeah. Ooh. Fire protection. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I guess. I guess that's that's it. Uh, now, it said that there was a boss battle, right? A, we unlocked the way to get into some uh, tower. That's a really big tree. Oh, my. So, uh, let's go look for that new boss battle we unlocked. Did I bring a slime sling with me? No. And we don't have access to our inventory because we're not using simple storage anymore. Okay. Ah, uh, we could go back through. What's this guy? Glow shroom. Okay. Um. Big horn sheep? Okay. I've never been here before, so... Or, or if I have, I haven't taken it seriously. <laughs> Fallen tree with some moss patch. Now, I believe there's another boss in like this molehill. There's also a, a rift there. Okay. Um, oh, a house. Potential boss battle. Can we go in? Okay. Oh, I see a skeleton right there. Um, a skeleton droid? If I read that correctly. Skeleton druid. Ah, okay. Ladder going up. With more empty chests. Oh, there's some food in here. What have we... We've not eaten a poisonous potato. Okay. What do you get me with? Poison. And there's a firefly jar. Okay, not the firefly we want though. Let's um, I guess continue on our way. You can see on the minimap they they light up around them, so they're pretty cool. But they're not the firefly we're after. What's up there? Cicadas, I think. Ooh, a creepy web forest. I assume full of spiders. Probably ah, oh, there's probably a spider boss, isn't there? Uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know. What's that? I don't know, some obsidian monument, no doubt. Let's, uh, I guess, have a look, right? We might as well. Let's see. Obsidian monument. What do you do? I don't know. It didn't kill me just by staying near it. Do we see anything? I didn't see anything. I mean, I don't know. We're meant to be finding like a witch's tower, right? Whereabouts would we find one of those? What's this wood made out of? Twilight oak wood. We might be able to find uh, one of those twilight wraiths. That gives a, a glowstone. We're in the twilight forest. Surely a twilight wraith would be in the twilight forest. What's this? Oh, what are they? Tiny birds. Oh. What's this? A wolf? Little wolves. Oh. Like a little pack of wolves. They were hunting a sheep, apparently. Okay. Um, what's this? Let's head over here. I want to find a, a twilight wraith now. I don't know. Twilight. Oh, light wraith. Let's see. Is it going to tell me where they spawn? Perhaps. Twilight wraith. Twilight wraith. No. I guess we're just going to have a look. Chickens? Yep. Now, this does this have loot in it? No. There's another house over there. And there's a like, house-like structure here. Which I guess we'll head over to. Let's uh, have a little look-see. Is there a front door? Doesn't seem to be. So this is the same sort of situation. Same structure. These skeleton druids. They have chests with... An empty map? Can I get a... Now, I've heard... I'm pretty sure there's a map you can make in the Twilight Forest, right? Radar. Atlas. At Twilight. Can I do map? 
maze, blank magic map, maze map, or map, magic map. Okay. If I just open this map here. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, we gave it a look. Give it a little look. Yeah, I don't know. Th this turned from auto crafting to a uh, Twilight Forest looking for uh, glowstone, right? Uh, where would a Twilight Wraith spawn? Also, I should have tried to capture the Naga in a mob imprisonment tool. We'll do that to the next boss. We'll see if we can get the next boss in one. Um, do I look in this house? I guess we might as well. I'm looking for a big tower, I'm pretty sure. A big magic tower. Do you have anything? Bread? Golden apple? Nothing new. Okay. There might be, like, more hidden loot in there. If there is, I can come back and look for it, but... For now, we'll just keep looking. Here, we can turn our render distance up a lot and just see. Because there might be something, like, far in the distance that we're just not seeing, right? And that'll take a little bit to load, but... Once we're in here for a little bit. <laughs> is this, like, a monument for this beehive that spawned in the middle? Um, I guess we'll explore through here, right? What's the worst that could happen? There's something on the map here. Sand? Sand with water? The water looks muddy. Okay. What's this stuff? Leaf pile. Grass blocks, leaf pile, a ravine going through the middle of this. What are we? Spooky forest, it's called? Surely a spooky forest would have uh, a twilight wraith. Right. Maybe. What mod is the twilight wraith from? Let's just make sure. Twilight wraith. It's from the twilight forest. So we're not, you know, just assuming things. It is from the same mod. Um, there's a structure here. Mm, no. Now I see a lot of mobs on the map. Um, none of the hostiles seem to stand out as being anything different. Maybe we'll check out one of those mole hills that we, that we run past. Or if we run past a new one. There are slime islands in here, which is a surprise. Lots of oil over there. My god. If I ever need oil, apparently, remind me, uh, Twilight Forest. There's some pigs? Wild boars? They're new. We haven't seen those before. What's, uh, this away? Massive trees. Maybe we get on top of a massive tree and just try and look for a, a wizard's tower of sorts. Oh, what is this? A twilight swamp. Mystical black flower. Water lily. Okay. Now, it does appear to be dark under these uh, trees. So maybe twilight wraiths in this forest. I don't like these particle effects. I mean, it makes it hard to see, right? And it's, it's making me hard to breathe. I feel like I'm actually walking through it. Uh, but I think that's the intention, right? Huge lily pad? Oh, that's awesome. I need some frogs. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing in here. I just wanted a twilight wraith. Or I wanted a firefly, but I got the wrong type of firefly. I don't even know. Here, firefly? We want, I guess, one of these from the Between Lands. Spawn Firefly from the Twilight Forest. So there could be a, a Firefly in here. So we should check out the mobs we see. There seems to be a Twilight Firefly. Oh, what's this guy? What's, what is he? He's a tiny bird. Okay. I need to watch the tiny birds because some of them are yellow and they look like fireflies. <laughs> hmm. Surely the spawn egg for a firefly won't just spawn in a firefly block, right? I'm sure there's an actual firefly out there. Oh, I see something over there. I think it's a molehill. We'll, we'll go check it out, I guess. We're not finding anything else. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a map. People use maps when they play this. Uh, so, clearly we're very not prepared. Oh. What's this? What set me on fire? Vines? 
Was it the Firefly? I think it was the Firefly set me on fire. I guess it makes sense. It's a Firefly? Oh, is it this guy? And I hear something horrible. What's this? Notes on the Fire Swamp? Didn't he have two books? Maybe not. Let's open this. Um, I'll just read through quickly. Apparently it's the air that's burning. Surrounded the fire swamp are several wet swamps. In other of those swamps are labyrinths full of minotaurs. Okay. So apparently there's like a boss minotaur that we have to kill. Uh, that sounds horrifying. <gasps> what is this? Oh, okay. This is like the barrier, right? Yeah, see? We couldn't break that block. So there's a barrier around that molehill. So we need to defeat the next boss in our lineup, which, from what I know, is the uh, that lich thing that it was talking about. So we're in a fire swamp at the moment. That's why we're catching fire. It wasn't the firefly. It's that we're in a fire swamp, which apparently has a minotaur underneath it. So should we dig down and, and look for the minotaur? I think we should. We don't see anything different, just massive trees. Let's, uh, let's, let's have a look then. I guess we'll go down this cave. I don't like this, this is pretty scary. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. This is quite the scary. <gasps> firefly, firefly, firefly! Yes! We got it! Ah, oh, we came, we, we came, we conquered. Ah, oh, useless, useless skeleton. I'm frozen at the moment. It better not have crashed because I just got my... My Firefly. I got what I came here for. You're dead. Can I kill the Firefly? Can we witness that it drops Glowstone? I want to kill a Firefly until it drops Glowstone. Because I don't know for a fact that this guy is going to drop Glowstone. Hmm. You know what? We'll keep going. I'm going to dig down and look for this labyrinth. And hopefully, just hopefully, we don't die a painful death. <gasps> I got scared of the bedrock. I'm not going to lie. Okay, well, I didn't see anything. We're just going to go home. Hopefully, this lets us teleport. We'll see if the firefly gives us glowstone. I don't know if it will because we killed two then. It does say it's affected by looting. Uh, so I guess we'll have to see. Otherwise, we've got to, I don't know, find a witch. Go to the between lands and get one of those fireflies. Oh, you know what we could do? We could search uh, this guy. Uh, what's this type of firefly? It doesn't say. It just says firefly. They both just say firefly. And doesn't say which mod. Okay. There's a chance, right? There's a chance that we got the right one. Let's uh, change our render distance again. Right? Come on. You don't need to load... Here, just load in the two around you. Oh, look. The, uh, the waypoints go to the edge of the render distance, it seems. So if I do, like, full, it goes to, I think, where they actually are. <laughs> That is nuts. Okay. Come on. I mean, the minimap says we're back home. Look, maybe we look at quests while we're loading in. What have we got? All this infinity stuff. Oh, we're back. Of course we are. And it is night time. Let's uh, sleep. Make it daytime. And slap in... Oh. I guess daytime. I got scared for a little bit. Ah, right, lights on. Right? Let's go in here. Replace the treasure slime with the firefly. Twilight Forest firefly. And once I stop lagging, my game, my game's frozen again. We'll see if we can get some glowstone. How are we going to keep track of the glowstone that we are getting? Um, run over here. 
glowstone. We have two glowstone. Two glowstone. That is all we have. Let's go turn off the other spawner. Da, 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 da. This guy. Because he might like spawn a witch and kill him. Turn off this guy. Only this guy's on. He's spawning him. They're getting killed. I'm not seeing any glowstone. It's not looking good. Two glowstone is what we had. We now have still two. Ah, oh, that is a nightmare. Okay. Uh, we have another choice. We can head over to one of the villages. We can head over to, like, let's say this one. And surely there's, like, a, a witch around here, right? Maybe. Where do witches spawn? <laughs> Where do witches spawn? We need a witch. Oh, my game crashed. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we are back. I went ahead and off camera decided to go and look for a witch. And I did find one. He was just chilling over here. I also got attacked by a whole bunch of spiders. Uh, so we have a witch. We have an imprisonment tool with a witch in it. Is this a witch's hut? Or is this a tree? It's a tree, okay. So the witch was just here. He must have just spawned. We're in a tiger biome. I went out looking for like um, the witch's huts. And I guess we found one. He looked... Um, here, I'll show you what he looks like on the minimap. So look in the top right. He looks like... Oh, is he dying? He's dying really slowly. So we go see on the map. That's what he looks like. He's a lot skinnier version of a villager. And then, oh, and that's what he looks like. So I won't be able to teleport home, will I? Because I'm taking the damage. Thirty seconds of it. Oh my god. Okay. Well, uh, this way. I don't even know which way I went. I guess this way. This way is the way back. If I see a cow along the way, I'll drink some milk, but it looks like not. Just sheep and pig. Ah, no. Oh, yeah. Come on. Four seconds. Four seconds and we can teleport home. And then I can either eat some food that I haven't eaten, or I can go and switch out my uh, meat feeder with the other one, which is probably just what I'll do. So I should be able to run over here. Well, I can't run. But I should be able to take this guy. He empties, and I can put him back in. I can even grab him again. There we go. So now we have a completely full meat feeder. How good is that? Okay, so, we have the requirement that we required. <laughs> we have the witch. Boom. Treasure slime, witch, mob essence, mob duplicator. We now should be getting glowstone. So I'm going to turn these lights off. And just let that run infinitely. If we run back over here to our system, glowstone. Still only two, <laughs> which I guess isn't the greatest. I guess treasure slimes might drop them, right? Um, I know treasure treasure slimes. Ugh, I'm like all oh, this beat up. I know they drop apples. So can we see in here? We can. We can see what the treasure slime drops. Golden apple. All this kind of stuff is a possibility. That's pretty cool. I guess it drops blaze powder. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Three glowstones. So, oh, yeah. We've got an A glowstone. So, um, I, I guess that's it, right? Now, add-on. Is there, like, a luck add-on we can get? Fortune add-on. Does it say? Um, we'll add fortune looting to the machines that accept the add-on. Okay. It needs to be enchanted with fortune. And we'll use the enchantment level... For the machine actions. Okay, so we want one of these. We want a fortune add-on. Can we just make one? No. What is this? Orange wall? Is our system full? Our system must be full. Our system is full. Storage. Okay. We need a storage drive. We need uh, just some more Mark 1s, probably. Can I make any? I require this stuff. <laughs> our storage is so full. Okay. Uh, redstone. Here we go. Let's make two of those for now. Um, place those back there. Turn them into these. One. Two. Perfect. 
and put them in here and we should be back in business. Now, I'm not 100% sure what they're all filling up on. I assume just like mob drops and stuff. Uh, it's, it's fine though, right? It's fine. I'm not stressing. <laughs> I probably should be. Okay, what were we just looking at? We were looking at the fortune. Fortune add-on. This guy. So we need more emeralds and we need a pink slime ingot. So that is pink slime in the casting? Smelting. Pink slime. Can I just throw pink slime in? Hmm. Do I need to make a fluid sieving machine? Pink slime. Pink slime. We do have a pink slime. Let's make a... Um, oh, I should have just done it from there. Fortune. Pink slime ingot. One of these guys. What do we require? Bam. <laughs> what? We need... Alright, so we need one of these. Then we need one or uh, two of these gold gears. One, two. And now we should be able to make it. We'll make this one. Bam! Fluid sieving machine. Now, if we come over here, we have the pink slime. Um, still in the system, I guess. It also appears to be full of liquid meat. Which seems odd to me. Um, fluid sieving machine. Buckets. Bucket of pink slime. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Uh, I would like this now, though. No? Okay. Maybe we'll have to get some more pipettes. <laughs> some more pipettes. Uh, and this guy needs power, so we'll just... Pick him up anyway. I'm gonna set him up elsewhere. Not sure where that orange wall came from. If I'm completely honest. We need some pipettes. Uh, pipette. Let's get, uh, we'll just get one. We should be able to go in between. Uh, and maybe we do set him up over here. But we just set him up, uh, we connect him to power. If that's possible. Like right there. Um. <laughs> I guess. Pipette. Can, hovering with the pet can fill from container. There we go. So I click right click with him. So now it has a pet in it. So now I can put it in. Right? And then to get a pink slime ingot, I need to put an iron ingot in there. Okay. Easy enough. And we only need the one. So iron ingot. Bam, bam, bam. Sprint back over. Do, 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 do. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And just put the ingot in there. Now how much does it need? It requires a full thing, it looks like. Can I shift right click? Like, how can I... Okay. Oh, we've already got it. There we go. Pink slime ingot, we're done. We got what we came for. <laughs> Ignore the rest. Leave it all there. Make a mess. Whatever. Pink slime ingot. Boom. Fortune. Nope. We're going to need more emeralds, aren't we? So we need... We can do carrots, I guess. Uh, oh, is carrots still a bit cheaty? I think it is. How much wheat do we have? We still have quite a bit of wheat. Let's grab as much of that as we can. Let us head over back to the old home. Now, there should be a shipping bin. Let's go to the wheat. It's a few clicks away. It's like past... You get to like... Uh, the, you know, this stuff. The normal vanilla things, and it's right there. Place it in. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. Okay. We should be good to go. Make a fortune add-on. Fortune. Click this. Click that. Fortune add-on. So, it also said I needed to enchant it with fortune. So let's see, what levels do we have? Fortune 2, 3, and 1. Let's get the 2. Uh, are we going to need an anvil? We should have one upstairs, right? Let's have a look. I assume this is what it means. 
place that in that. Fortune 3. Fortune add-on. Head back down. We should be able to throw this in and get fortune applied onto the witches that are getting killed. And all mobs, honestly. Bam. Fortune 3. We should also be able to check if we perhaps run over here. Do, 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 do. Um, glowstone? What are we at? We're at 16. Okay, over here we can search glowstone as well. Glowstone. You can go here, go to mob drops. Affected by looting. It doesn't really say how it is though. Experience dropped 5. Okay. Well, we've got somewhat automated, right? We've got it coming in. Or we should anyway. <laughs> I guess. Okay. We'll, we'll leave that for now and pretend that's fine. And we'll finish automating... What was it? The blank patterns. So. Was it just quartz glass? What do we... We wanted to make more blank patterns. So we wanted to make more quartz glass. Which we can do. So we can make a bunch of these. And then what are we up to? Where did we even put the, the previous one that we made? We placed it here, right? Yes, yeah, so that's making crushed quartz. We want it to then make the glass. Quartz glass. You must set the pattern terminal to crafting mode. Okay, yep. That does make sense. <laughs> place this guy in here. I can place them all in there. Encode that. Boom. We want to place this... Uh, I guess we'll place it back over there near the molecular uh, yeah, the molecular assembler. Uh, what else do we have? Is that it? I think that's it. We can just do this. Boom. So both of these, we want to head back over here. And we can't fit... Well, we can fit one more in here. But for the sake of experiments, let's get an interface. Which we don't have. Let's get an interface. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. We're going to need another annihilation core. Or formation core. It's, it's always one or the other. One of these. Bam. And this can be placed... Here. I guess. And that should work. Right? Can I now request a blank... Oh, blank pattern. Craft one. Missing Certus Quartz dust. And a pure Certus Quartz. Um, I don't want you to use that type of dust. I, uh, this guy I've got to change. Okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll get this set up and then we'll we'll end the episode. Once once we have it, be able to request a perfect one. Right from scratch. Mm, let's break all this. Let's get dust. Let's get this dust. Oh, I did not want it to do that. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Place that there. No, I've got to left click, don't I? There we go. Left click, get glass, and do that. Oh, why did it? Ah! Quartz, crushed quartz. There we go. Quartz glass. That should be good now. That should be good. We're also going to grab 10 of this, and we're going to keep that, like, uh, handy. Oh, you know what? No, we're not. We're not. I'll take that back. We'll put that away. We'll come over to this. Place in the pattern. Request a blank pattern. Request one. We should be able to make one. We need pure Certus Quartz. Uh, pure Certus Quartz. Let's grab some of this charged Certus Quartz. Uh, no. No, we won't. <laughs> Let's run back here. Let's grab Quartz. Let's grab 18 of this. And I should just be able to place it in this enriching chamber. And it should turn into it. So maybe I should... Here, here. Let's uh, get another interface built. So we're going to need probably more of this. So I'll make it ready. Bam. Interface. This we want to turn into this type of interface. Place it here. Place our cable on. Inside of this, we're going to get a blank pattern that tells it that if we put um, Certus Quartz in... No, not that many. Just the one. Now you'll probably just get here, pure Certus Quartz. Tell it, Enrichment Chamber, Certus Quartz Crystal, make that. Creates one pure Certus Quartz with one Certus Quartz Crystal. Boom. Place this guy on here. And now we should be able to see blank pattern. 
request. Missing one pure Certus Quartz. One pure Certus Quartz. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Creates one pure Certus Quartz crystal. In here. Okay, my guess would be that it's not hooked up. Like we're out of channels or something. That's my only guess. Um, to check this, we can put Osmium Dust up here. See if it gets sucked into the network. If it doesn't, then our network, our channels are full. And so that means that we need to, like, uh, yeah, we might even be able to just do something along the lines of this. No. Okay. We need to hook up this network, this one here, to be attached to one of the big cables, I think. So we need more dense covered cable. As long as this still... Okay. Oh. Where are we? Dense. Cobble cable. Now, the alternative is to have just one uh, interface here, sending both of these patterns into a chest, and then have the chest put them into the specific ones that they need to go into. But eh, we're, we're, doing, we're doing it the hard way. Dense. We don't have any dents. Let's do dents here. We need a dense covered cable, Fluix, which requires these, which we don't have. So we need some of these. Let's search wool. Let's search, uh, what are we going to search? String. Get a stack of wool. Clear that. Place this. Place this. Just get all them. Do all this. Bam. Dense covered cable. Break this, break this. Do that. That should work. I don't see why this now wouldn't work. This should send it back into the system. Once it, like, realizes, I guess. <laughs> Is my understanding. Once it, <laughs> once it realizes. <laughs> yeah. I should also be able to place this right there. And, like, clear that. Are you working? It's working. It's working. We should now be able to do the blank pattern. And request it. Yep. But no crafting CPUs are available. Because... It's currently making... Ah, okay. What? Huh? Is it? No? What is it doing? Pure Certus Course Crystals, it's got to schedule to make a, two of those so it can make more printed calculation circuits. Inscribe a calculation press. Use two of those to make two of those to make two of those. And the other thing's making basalt powder, which it is doing. So what if I cancel this guy? And do we see this guy light up again? Oh, we might have to say items, input, output, energy. Input? And output? Ooh. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Transport a config. Strict input. Input, output. We need it to do both. Auto eject. Uh, we could do an... Uh, hmm. what, what could we do? I mean, a simple solution would be one of this, right? Break this, break this, turn this guy into this. This is going to look messy, but it's a temporary. Trust, 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 trust. Place this guy in. Tell this guy uh, auto eject and tell this guy insert. And that should work. Once I configure this guy to eject out the top. There we go. So this guy should be happily making his printed circuits. Yep. He's having a blast. Then once he's done, which he is done, I should now finally be able to do a blank pattern. We're going to craft one. No, none of them are available at the moment. We might need to make more, uh, more CPUs. Oh, quick. 
We got in. We got to make one. So as you can see, it's making a pure crystal. And then we should see a blank pattern show up in not too long. Right? Wait for it. <laughs> Any day now. Give it a second. Give it a minute. Give it an hour. Give it a week. Give it a month. Give it a year. Ah, oh, yeah. It only took a year. So, another idea I have is if I get two of these, and if we find um, one of these guys that is attached to a storage bus, which I don't think is any of these. No, it's not any of these. Here, let's... uh, We can replace this floor a little. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's head over to this guy. Let's get a storage bus. Storage bus, which we don't have. Storage bus. ME storage bus. Can I make one? Nope. I require one of you, which requires... Oh my god. I want to get a, the interfaces automated by the end of this episode, in case you're still wondering what, what I'm doing. <laughs> so this guy... To then turn into this guy, who I can then tap onto the side of here and hook up with a Fluix cable, right? And then this guy, I should be able to um, have this. So he will try and make three. He will try and always keep uh, two, I mean. He should, anyway. I've got to put a crafting card in him, though. So if I go here and search crafting card. We can't make one. Um, over here, I've got to write crafting card. Boom. Nope. We need a basic card. Boom. Crafting card. I can now place a crafting card in here and it will craft until it has the two to put here. So, that should mean that we have two blank patterns still. That's enough for a formation core and the annihilation core. Uh, if we can get out. Oh. So we can place these here, um, core. Annihilation core and formation core. The two guys that we need. Crafting mode, you. This mode, you. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals. Let's place uh, this lamp back. Uh, we can place, I guess, the lamp back over here too. Turn them on. Sprint back. This is this is brilliant. In this guy, I want to keep these two. Four quartz glass is currently inside here. Uh, I don't think it's meant to be. Um, I've done something wrong, and I'm, my game's also frozen. I think I might need another molecular assembler. Perhaps. That's that's very odd, isn't it? Blank pattern. I've got a blank pattern. This guy should be empty, though. <laughs> okay, what if I take the blank pattern out, huh? You gonna make another one? I don't know. I do, however, want the, the cores. So if I search core... I would like to craft one of you, which needs pure nether quartz crystal. Since when? I made it with the wrong recipe. Oh my god. Okay, well, I, I'd st I want this. I'm getting this done. Which one used the wrong recipe? The Here, we have two printed ones here. Pure nether quartz, pure surface quartz. So this guy, pure nether quartz. No, sir. And that was for what? This one's formation, so I need the annihilation. Annihilation core. Yeah, the quartz. This guy I'm going to change too because he doesn't have to be pure, I don't think. This guy, for the formation core, can just be a normal Certus quartz. Okay. We've done it. I have another blank pattern, which I'm going to do for the interface. Right? This guy. Do I have another blank pattern? Have we made one in time? 
No. No, we haven't. Okay. I've got a hunch that this has like used up all the um, cables. That's my little hunch. Hmm. Uh. How can I do this? I don't know. Let's put this stuff in here for now. Let's have a look at this. Crafting 4. So, yeah, it still thinks it's crafting 4 because this guy went ahead and, and grabbed it. But I don't think it should matter. It should just get launched back in the system. Okay. What if I place... Here, let's grab this guy and place him there. Or, or even uh, further at the end. Let's place him there. We can put this guy in. So he should place one here. <laughs> Eventually. I think it's crafting a new one. Yeah, it's crafting a new one. So it's almost got it, right? So it's got this one. Which is good. Blank pattern. Okay. What about interface? I would like an interface, please. No crafting CPUs already because this guy's scheduled to do this. Scheduled and scheduled. Does that mean that this guy's on? No. I'm going to turn I'm gonna cancel that and see what it does. Okay. I think we're good. I think. What I should also do is get a stockpile of this uh, petrothium dust stored in one of these. So, oh, we almost quit. That was <laughs> very dangerous. Um, we could keep more pulverized obsidian at once. No, we need more uh, petrothium. Which we don't, yeah, we don't have much. Um, petrothium. Now, I mean, that's the stuff you craft. So maybe, how much basalts do we have? We have none either. <laughs> Petrothium. Let's get 100. Do that, please. Petrothium. So that should... Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. This guy I'm going to cancel. So that should only be crafting this guy. Nope. This stuff get... Oh, why is it being a pain? In here... No. In here... Yeah, in here we have one that we keep at all time. It, it tries to keep one, right? This guy's not fast enough at the moment. I could speed him up. He's probably going to drain power really fast. I could, if I wanted to, I could chuck this guy in. We could really get cooking. Yeah, look at that. These episodes are, are pretty long. This one and the last one, I think roughly an hour. So, yeah. But we're getting stuff done. We're achieving things. Hopefully we're landing. So I'll explain why this didn't work as well. So um, these singular cables, these wires, hold eight channels in them. These thicker wires hold 32 channels. A channel is used up when something is connected. So right here, this uses up one channel, right? So that's fine when, when this guy... Actually, this guy might hold 16. It's either 16 or 32 that he holds. But the other ones definitely hold eight. So each of these, this is one channel used up by this uh, interface. And then we've got two channels used up here. So it all adds up. And I think this might be like three and four. And we have a wireless five. So they all add up. And yeah, that's, uh, hopefully that explains it. So you want to connect as much to the big cables as you can, as opposed to the little ones. The little ones are like the final stretch, like to get it into the machine. Um, how are we going? How's this going? I mean, I'll just keep speeding it up. Try and get through it all. This guy has one speed upgrade on him. I want to get a backlog and then set it to always keep it back. Oh, I guess we'll just have the same problem over and over again, won't we? This guy just... I think we're just going to have to sacrifice the CPU slot permanently. I think that's fine. We'll always have one CPU slot taken up by... Uh, by the other guy. 
I mean, not for a little bit because I just crafted a, a buttload, but yeah, let's get this interface crafted. Start. Search interface. Oh, search. Oh, oh, oh. Whenever I press E, it like, unless I've clicked on this search bar in particular, it doesn't really work. So let's get this interface. <laughs> let's place it here to keep an interface in here at all times. Boom. It's always going to craft one. <sighs> How good is that? Interfaces are auto crafted. So we can easily expand auto crafting. Um. And, and that's that's pretty much it. That's the main thing I wanted to do this episode. Uh, and yeah. In between episodes, I don't think... I, we'll, we'll go have a look, actually. I'm not sure if our builder had all the stuff he needed. So let's go to the builder's hut. What are you after? You need clay. Okay. Well, I'll do this stuff uh, in between episodes. Make sure they can actually upgrade their stuff. Give them all the resources they need. And it might be done by the time I do next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and you can turn on the notification bell if you want notifications, or you can head over to the Discord, which will be in the description. You can request to join the server if you want, we have a nice community server. Or you can get notified when we're about to stream, or when new videos come out, much more reliably. Reliably? Yeah, that's a word. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're nearing 250. I don't have internet at the moment as I'm recording this, so... I'm not sure uh, we could be there. I, I doubt we are, though. We're, we slowed down growth a little bit, but hopefully we can speed that back up with uh, more uploads, more streams, and, yeah, more content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.